Hey MK3 fam, it's your girl Works, and I thought with all this going on, we are due for another cruise talk. So with everything that's going on with the coronavirus and um, ports be closing to the cruise lines and everything, I just felt like this is the perfect time for another edition of Cruise Talk. And this is going to be based on some stuff that I learned from Carnival Cruise Line as of Friday, March 6th. Okay, so let me get right into it. If you are currently booked on a Carnival Cruise Line ship, and you are sailing between today through March 30 through May 31st that is May 31st 2020 and you decide that you're going to go ahead and stay booked you're not going to cancel you're not going to reschedule as an incentive a, basically a thank you carnival is going to um award onboard credit in the following amounts if it is a three to four day cruise, it will be $100 per cabin, not per person, per cabin. It will be $150 per cabin for five day cruises. And it will be $200 per cabin for six day or longer cruises. Now they have something totally different for their European itineraries. And I'll get into that in a second. These are just for non-European itineraries. Now, if you decide that you are going to still sail with them, you do not have to reach out to your cruise, I mean, to your um, travel agent or to Carnival Cruise Line. This is going to automatically be added as onboard credit to your sign and sail card. It's You don't even have to worry about it. It'll be there when you get there. Now, I'm going to get into what they have listed for their European itineraries. Okay, so if you are booked on a Carnival Radiance European itinerary, they are finalizing some itinerary changes and they have a special offer that they're going to be putting out in the next couple of days. Information is changing daily. So this is what was as of yesterday, which was Friday, today is Saturday. So for those European cruises, on the uh, Carnival Radiance. Um, if you booked prior to March 6th and you decide to change your vacation plans, they will allow those booked on sailings between now and May 31st to move their booking to a new date to a new date and receive a future cruise credit in the amount of the non-refundable cancellation fee. If you are booked on sailings departing between March 9th and March 31st, 2020, you can move your booking to a future date up to three days before sailing, which is absolutely amazing. If the cruise departs between March 6th and March 8th, you need to call them at any time to take advantage of this offer. If you are booked on sailings departing between April 1st, 2020 and May 31st, 2020, you can move your booking to a future date by March 31st. The future cruise credit must be used for sailing by March 31st, 2021, which is excellent. That is more than a year from now. Um, so I just wanted to put this information out there. Like I said, they have some more information that's going to be coming out in the next couple of days. And as that information is released, I will be sure to put it out there to you because I do know that quite a few of my um, viewers uh, are cruisers and cruisers with Carnival Cruise Line in particular. I'm going to be putting out some cruise talk editions on um, some other cruise lines just to let you know what they're doing. Some stuff is going to be pretty much related to the coronavirus and what's happening with that. Some stuff is just going to be new things that are happening or fun things that are happening. So you just never know what it's going to be about. So make sure that you don't miss another edition of Cruise Talk. So hit that notification bell so that you'll always be here when I'm putting out new information. Sharon is Karen. Hit the like button, comment, subscribe. And oh, wait a minute. I got a question. Are you going to allow what's going on with the coronavirus stop you from traveling? What are your thoughts on that? I'm just curious. Okay. You guys know what it is. Bye.